Hey guys, welcome to a quick channel update. I don't do many of these. I usually do one or two a year. But about six or seven months since the last one, so I feel like now is a good time. The 7 Days to Die 1.0 Survival Guide has ended. Hopefully, I don't know at this current moment, the Supercut has uploaded correctly. It was having some problem. Uh, but hopefully it's uploaded correctly and you should be seeing it either before this or after it. I actually don't know right now, but you'll see it. And with the end of the 1.0 Survival Guide, I have decided to make some major changes in my content. Don't worry, 7 Days to Die is staying on the channel. It's a quick note of what you're seeing on screen by the way, I hope most of you, at least the people who are over the age of 10, are recognising that it's Halo Combat Evolved, but what you're seeing is just me doing a botched attempt at a speedrun of Pillar of Autumn that almost goes so horribly wrong so many times, and yet somehow still beats my previous record. I previously had a very bad strategy for the end of level, and employing the new strategy has made it go much faster, so even though this speedrun goes terribly the entire time it actually ended up being a new personal best of mine so i i look forward to shaving off another couple of minutes by not being a moron and before anybody says it because i know it's such a meme i know the magnum is good in halo combat evolved i have played every halo game legendary multiple times i know however the first half of pillar of autumn the assault rifle's very good for stun locking the grunts and just clearing them out your way in close range. And the plasma pistol actually stun locks elites once you break their shields and it breaks it very quickly. So it's very good in a couple of very useful situations. Later on, I do get the magnum. Anyway, now that I've stopped the Halo community from ripping me to shreds for not using a magnum, let's move on to the rest of the channel update. <laughs> Seven Days to Die is staying on the channel, as I said. I plan on continuing to keep Seven Days to Die part of the channel at least until the final seven days to die update comes out i will still not be covering blood moons because i think it's a cash grab and just an undeserved cash grab at that uh, but otherwise regular seven days to die will stay a part of the channel until it's done there's going to be a gap in the classic series type that i do but i do still have an idea to do a hardcore series uh, the super cut of the last hardcore series got like 100k views in i want to say like six months which is pretty good for me and my channel size and just for my channel in general and technically i'm not allowed to tell you how much money i make per view and stuff but let's just say it's four digits on this super cut that took me an hour to assemble so that's just free money but moving forward i'm also going to be incorporating more games i've got dawn of defiance as a game i want to cover a little bit more even though there's no audience for it i'll just suffer through it i want to do some project zomboid i want to go back to subnautica a little bit and get some Valheim as well, as well as potentially branching out into other games, like genres, that I just enjoy in a similar format that I'll bring up in a second. Uh, and I have a lot of options for that looking at my big list here. Seven Days to Die for maybe a month or so is going to be relegated to one-off tutorial videos and stuff like that, which are actually better than what I normally make, but it's relegated in the sense that you're not going to get like five, seven days to die videos a week. You'll just get like one good one. Uh, I've got five tip videos planned, which will be compiled into a massive one because it's free money. It's literally a money glitch. If you're an aspiring YouTuber, consider doing that. And I have a build video as in like a character build video and I have an electricity guide and I have a couple of other side seven days to die videos planned as well as a one-off seven days to die video that will be an experiment for a new format that you'll see when it comes that i'm going to apply to a lot of different games which will still be in the same vein of like gameplay focused content which is what my channel has been for the last year and a bit but with a bit more production and a little bit more post production in particular because i am so sick of recording videos editing them putting them out because my editing for those gameplay videos is classic let's play stuff where i basically just cut out the silence which is really boring for me to edit and i would say it's probably really boring for you to watch because that's like a cliche for youtubers right they say well if i'm not enjoying it you're not enjoying it the views disagree you guys seem to actually be enjoying that anyway but my god it is dull to create and I, again i don't want to phase out that type of content completely I'm not completely ditching anything here. We're just making some shakeups because my god, I'm bored. And if I'm not bored, if I'm enjoying making content, you'll get more content on average compared to if I'm completely burned out making five, seven days to die videos a week for two weeks and then making like two or three a week for two weeks. 
you'll probably get more content in this way. I'm not going to go into details about the new formats I have planned. They're nothing crazy, like you'll have seen videos like it before, but the videos I have planned are new for the channel and they're more just interesting to make and hopefully they'll be a bit more attractive to the algorithm as well. My channel isn't struggling. I know you hear like YouTubers and their channel updates. They'll be like, you know, my, the, the algorithm's really fucking me up. The algorithm's fine. I don't care. The channel's doing fine. It's good. Solid. Not a problem. Steadily ticking up in subscribers. Generating a good amount of revenue for the fact that I play video games for a living. Not a problem. I just want a more interesting experience for me. And that involves experimentation and playing other games in other formats that will probably sometimes do worse and sometimes do way way better. It's still really funny to me to this day. The channel who's kind of well known for being stuck in 7 Days to Die's most viewed video is a Valheim video. It's just so funny because I followed up on that Valheim video with two more videos and they bombed because that's YouTube but I don't mind. It's fine. I experimented. One went well. Some didn't such as YouTube. The key is to experiment over long periods of time and give the algorithm more time to build up data about those new videos and who watches them and it brings in new viewers and it's good for you. So just as a quick aside, five tips videos that will be compiled into one supercut and the supercut will contain 100 7 days to die 1.0 tips. There will be a night stalker build guide, there will be a hardcore series, there will be a 7 days to die 1.0 video thing and there'll be two modded series because I want to do afterlife and i want to do undead legacy whenever that comes out and there'll be a lot more content on other games even though it'll do terribly i'm just gonna do it to stay sane and let the seven days to die stuff carry it and let the occasional non seven days to die video that does really well just do very well you have to experiment to get those because usually when i do a non seven days to die video and it does really well it does really well because these other games have much bigger audiences so it's worth the experimentation. So yeah, channel's going quite well. Bye.